Hello all, welcome to part 6 of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert Course and Certification. In this video, we will talk about privilege escalation. This video is part of the SMFE course and certification. For more details on how to enroll, please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE. Our certifications are currently taken by students from over 30 plus countries around the world. This video has been made available free of charge to everyone in line with Security Tube's vision of providing free yet quality InfoSec education to one and all. Okay, so in the last video, we had a look at how to understand the victim better, figure out if it's running in a virtualized environment or not, who the current logged in user is, and a bunch of other things, right? Now, in this video, we will look at privilege escalation. That is how once you break in as an underprivileged user, you probably can get more privileges, right? Or the highest privileges on the system, which is the system user. Now, you could do this by a bunch of ways in Metasploit. Uh, the most common utility or script in it is called get system. So let's look at a quick demo of the same. So this is my victim machine and what I'm doing is I'm running Minishare 141, which is something you can download uh, online. It's a vulnerable program and I'm running it as the current logged in user, uh, which is security tube. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my backtrack machine, uh, go ahead, search for an exploit for the mini share program and then exploit it. Please leave your comments behind as I always say, that is what keeps me going. I'm going to ma be making a couple of videos tonight, late into the night actually. Okay, so there you go. So here is your matching module. Right, many share one for one. Let's go ahead, use this exploit, set the remote host. I know the IP address of the Windows machine is 1.50. And then let's do a quick show target to choose the operating system. In our case, the target is Windows XP SP0, which is two. And now let's exploit the remote system. There you go. Metapreter session is up and running. Okay, so right now we are the security tube user. Now, if you run get system uh, with hyphen H, it gives you the help options. And what you would see is it uses a bunch of techniques to try and get you system privileges. Now, one of the things which I'd like to mention is that not all of them work. What it does is when you choose the option zero, it tries one after the other and if it succeeds, it basically gives you system, right? So let me run get system which each of these, the first one is actually the named pipe impersonation. Uh, and this is basically in memory admin. So here goes, oops. Okay, uh, I gave the default option but it actually of course, would have to use the first one and actually got system. Now, if I actually do a get UID, what you would see is I'm basically anti authority system. Now, if you want to go back to the same uh, authorization as you broke in, you can just do rev to self or revert to self. And this takes you back to who you were, which is security to you. Now, let me go ahead and give it option two, which is a variation of the named pipe impersonation attack. Again, we got system, we can verify this. Let's revert back to who we were. Verify the same. And now let's try the third one, which is token duplication. And which you would see doesn't work here. 
and we are still security tube now let's try the chi trap od exploit again doesn't work we are who we are right so get system actually uses a combination what i've seen is typically technique one and two work most of the times uh, and once your system now you can do anything you like uh, because that is the highest privilege you can get on a windows box and this is how using the get system command you can do privilege escalation attacks now also note that it is possible to migrate into processes uh, which require the same privilege or lesser privilege level so let's say i get system right then typically i to migrate to any process for example explorer.exe which is of the same or lower privilege level as a requirement right there you go now right now if i do a get uid what you would notice is i become the user id of the user on behalf of which the program is running right explorer was running a security tube and that's who i become so this is one of the important things is if you migrate into a new process remember that you basically have the same uid as the current process into which you migrated right that's all for this short video uh, this is part of the smfe program please have a look at security tube.smfe if you'd like to enroll thank you very much please leave your comments behind as that is what encourages me to make more videos and give all of this out for free as well. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.